Whenever you use VersaFoam products, always wear the proper personal protective equipment, chemical-resistant safety goggles, a NIOSH-approved respirator, chemical-resistant protective clothing to prevent exposure to skin, and nitrile gloves. For more information, please review the section on safety equipment. To operate your VersaFoam system, disengage the safety and point at your application target. Pull the trigger. You are dispensing foam. It is important to keep your VersaFoam kit in an upright position during application. These tanks are large aerosol cans. If you dispense foam while the tanks are lying on their side, the pressure will bleed through the hose and there will not be enough pressure left to empty the tanks. Keep the tanks in the carton to help keep them upright during use. It's best to stand 18 to 24 inches from your target. Spray a strip around the perimeter of the area you want to cover. With a back and forth motion of your wrist, fill in the area from top to bottom. The faster you move your wrist, the thinner the layer of foam will be. To apply a thick layer, move slowly. The foam will expand to five or six times its original volume, so be careful not to apply too much in a single pass. The foam will cure tack-free in 30 to 45 seconds. Once it dries, if you see you need heavier coverage, you can apply another layer directly on top of the previous layer. You can sand the excess foam or trim it down with a sharp blade. If your application requires a layer that is more than one inch thick, we recommend that you make multiple passes with your gun. If you apply too thick a layer in one pass, the foam will begin to sag and give you uneven results. You can control the speed of your chemical flow by how far you pull the trigger. To begin, pull the trigger all the way back and then ease it forward until you find the position that gives you the best results. To caulk large gaps, simply run a bead of foam in the cavity. Place the tip of the nozzle at the edge of the cavity and slowly pull the trigger. Remember that the foam will expand to five or six times its original volume. When the foam cures and you do not have enough in one area, you can always fill in with additional foam. One layer will bond to the other. If you dispense too much foam, you can trim away the excess with a sharp knife. Polyurethane foam is an exothermic plastic. In other words, the foam generates heat as it cures. If you need to fill a large void, do so in layers of not more than four inches at a time. Allow each layer to cure before you add the next layer. 